Hello everybody and welcome to the third and final part of ORB, the online recycling band. Now if you're watching this for the first time, this is a quick reminder of what we did here. All you have to do is find something around the house that makes an interesting sound. Don't go and buy anything and it doesn't have to be a musical instrument. And here to make a short video of you playing the thing. I received over 75 different sounds and every single one of your contributions is in the piece and it's coming up soon. It's about three and a half minutes long and um, some of them are hidden, some of them are disguised and some of them have been changed a little bit to suit the piece, but everything's there. Okay. Now, why are we doing this? It's to let you know and remind you that in a way, all sounds are a type of music. And you've just proven that by coming up with all these imaginative ways of playing everyday objects. And I've arranged it into a sort of a collage, you know. So if you imagine making something on a sheet of paper where you use, um, you know, leaves or wrappers or things that you've drawn or other pictures cut out from other things, whatever, all sorts of stuff combining it. That's what I've done with this piece of music. And some people call that a soundscape, which is what it is, or you could call it a sound collage. And I've looked for things that are similar, put them together, but I've also looked for things that are contrasting or different. And that keeps it exciting and keeps it interesting to listen to. Right? So if you're stuck at home for the next few weeks and looking for something to do, you might even want to try making one of these yourself. And there's lots of different um, software solutions available and they're free. So uh, if you're interested, write something below in the comments and I'll um, let you know some of the things that you can find. So uh, when you're constructing your piece, remember that a piece of music doesn't have to have a really clear story and it doesn't have to have words. It doesn't have to have a melody or a tune. And, you know, it doesn't even have to have a regular beat. As long as it's got a mixture of different elements and somehow they're related and you have fun making it, then that's already a guarantee that it's going to be a fantastic piece, right? So see how you go. You know now how to record sounds and how to gather sounds and you can find stuff on the internet as well. But I reckon it's more fun just making your own stuff. Now, the other little thing to remember is Next time you go outside, walking around, or even around the house, don't forget that there's a piece playing the whole time in the background. All the different little noises that come. You know, it might be machines, or it could be doors slamming, or it could be people talking in the next room, or it could be all the different devices switching on and off. And we get really used to blotting all that stuff out when we're walking around. But next time you go out, have a bit of a listen. And this amazing peace is actually playing the whole time in the background. Okay, enough from me. Have fun watching it and I'll see you soon. Bye.